it's Emma from Emma Wilson Fitness and My Time for Change. I just wanted to um, come and say hello, but also just give you um, a little bit of an insight as to what people ask me the most, what people tell me the most, and just to see whether or not it resonates or it's of any interest. So the emails and questions and messages and general vibe I get uh, is mainly from women. Um, I do uh, have men in my classes and on courses, etc. Um, but it's mainly women. I guess you know your vibe attracts your tribe. And the the first thing that people tell me is that they don't feel great. They don't feel quite like themselves. They're a bit kind of uh, angry or cross or um, confused with how they're feeling. Um, they're feeling fed up, they're feeling tired, they're feeling stressed, they're feeling um, that they're juggling lots of different hats, they're juggling lots of different plates and it creates a bit of self-doubt, it creates uh, a lack of confidence, um, and generally they just say they feel out of sorts and they're not getting the results they think they deserve. Because most of the people that approach me, um, I would say the majority, um, are certainly uh, age 35 plus, um, right up into kind of, you know, 70s. Um, but there are also people who have maybe, you know, had a healthy lifestyle, maybe had fitness um, and understand it, but suddenly aren't achieving what they had in the past or they're not getting the results from workouts or they're certainly not seeing the reflection in the mirror. So it's not always about health in terms of food. People often tell me, well, I know how to eat healthily. And it's not always about fitness because people already have a level of fitness or their own routine. And um, of course, I'm there for that as well. But it's normally about a feeling. And if I could tell you that I can help you to stop feeling fed up, to give you more energy so that you have a zest for life, so that you feel full of vitality, so that you feel that you are handling the perimenopause or the menopause better because with the perimenopause comes anxiety in itself, comes brain fog, comes a whole host of symptoms that actually um, can be managed. It doesn't all have to be doom and gloom. And so it's about maybe retaking control in a really easy, really simple way. And my time for change um, without sounding like a magic wand, I can't take away some of the stresses in your life. I can't take away um, some of life laundry, but I certainly can help you handle them better and help you feel in your best health and full of well-being. Because it's that feeling of well-being that we're all just striving for. It's feeling how we used to. It's feeling your best self. It's picking that moment in time, that decade that you look back on and go, felt great then. I liked what I saw in the mirror. Um, and you want, to, you want to recapture that in some way, but living the life that you live and love now. So my time for change is all about being the best version of yourself, cliched as that may sound. Because when you feel great, you can handle things a whole lot better and you can handle pretty much what life, what life throws at you. And that's all we want to feel is happy and healthy and in a position of thinking, do you know what? I'm doing the best I can to look after my overall well-being. So it's not about shape and size and fitness. Of course, everybody um, you know, wants to have a level of fitness, wants to have um, a shape and size that they're happy with. And it's about that. It's about what you're happy with. It's about how you feel about yourself and what, what your goals are. So whatever it is that you're striving for, My Time for Change can help you achieve that. Um, but as I say, most women that approach me are talking about how they feel, not how they look. Um, it might start with 
wanting to lose a few pounds. It might, might be that you want to lose a lot of pounds and you can achieve that too. But most people come to me with a feeling of just a lack of energy, a lack of zest for life, feeling generally fed up, feeling probably a little bit uh, fatter, thicker, lardier, chunkier, whatever word you want to put on it, there's no politically correct word, um, but just a little maybe uncomfortable. And the efforts that they're putting into trying to be healthy and trying to capture well-being maybe they just can't get do it the same way that they could in the past because the older we get the harder it becomes so my time for change is an easy simple smart way to live the life you love and be the best version of yourself and make you feel great day in day out can't take things away yes you'll have your ups and downs but if you want more information get in touch sign up is always by the third week of every month um, and i'd love to help see you soon and take care